You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP LTM. In this section, we are going to talk about F5 LTM profiles, which gives the capability to manage and affect behavior of a specific traffic as it passes through the virtual server. We will see in the next section some serious examples from LTM profiles when we implement SSL offloading or persistency. But just as an example, in this section, we will use profile to change type of service of TCP traffic. When you check the configuration of a virtual server in a 5 LTM, you see many profiles that can be assigned to the virtual servers, protocol profile, client and server, HTTP profile, FTP profile, RTSP profile, SSL profile, and many other profiles that you are allowed to assign to the virtual server. During the course, we will see some practical examples such as persistence, client authentication, and SSL offloading where a profile is configured and assigned to a virtual server. But in this section, as a start, we will change the behavior of TCP traffic by changing the DSCP header field or type of service field in the IP header of the TCP packets. Before we assign the new profile to the virtual server, we capture the traffic when we access the web server through the virtual server. Therefore, we can compare the DSCP value or type of service value before applying the profile and after applying the profile to the virtual server. You can capture the traffic coming and going from the web server on the server itself, but I captured the traffic from virtual port connected to the web server through the ES6 server using packet capture command in the ES6 server. I've only started the first web server so I can ensure that traffic is forwarded to the first virtual server. The other two web servers are shut down. I connect to the ES6 through the SSH and first find out which virtual port is connected to the first web server with the command netstats-l net-stats-l and you see here that the web server is connected to the virtual port to the virtual switch virtual switch 0 and to the virtual port the number is here now we can capture the traffic before applying profile to the virtual server with command packet cap with the switch port and the number of port in which the web server is connected and we will save the output into a file with the name of wizoutprofile.pcap that we can download it and open with the Wireshark software to check the content of the packet using Wireshark software let's capture the packet and then we use the virtual ip to connect to the internal servers and then we stop the packet capture 35 packets are captured and now i can download the files refresh here is without profile pcap download the file Now we can open the captured file with Wireshark software and open and in the download without profile and if we check the value of DSCP field in the Wireshark you see the DSCP value of all traffic is zero but to make sure we can for example check if there is any packet with the DSCP value of 4, as you can see, it's not. And if you check inside the packet, the DSCP value of all packets are 0. And this is exactly what we ex expect to see before applying the profile to the virtual server. But in this section, as an example, we will create a profile in the section protocol TCP to change the behavior of TCP traffic by changing the DSCP value 
field to the four. We can copy, we can change one of the existing TCP profile or we can change a new one. Create and the name is TCP underline new and the parent profile TCP and we are going to change the DSCP or type of service field. I will change the value of type of service to four and then finished. Now we have a new profile with the name of TCP underline new which the DSCP value is changed to four as you can see here now we apply the new profile to the virtual server in the section profile we have a protocol profile server and we change it to the new profile tcp new and update the virtual server now is the time to capture again the traffic in the es6 the traffic coming and going from the internal web server but this time the name of file is changed to with profile.pcap and then we try to access to the server through the virtual ip ip2 100 and now we see that 33 packets are captured and we stop the packet capture and again download through the winscp software refresh and with profile and download and again we, we open the new captured file and check again the content of the dscp and we will apply the filter as four as you can see there are many packets from the internal web server to the client over internet with the dscp value of the four which is the effect of our and TCP profile which is applied to the virtual server therefore in this section we could change the behavior of a specific traffic passing through the virtual server using LTM profile now let's check to see what is the TSMH version of the LTM profile we go to the CLI environment of the LTM with TMSH we'll go to the TMOS environment and then here with the command list ltm profile you see the list of profiles supported by f5 ltm when we enter the command you see the new profile ltm profile tcp tcp new and the value of type of service to client from server to the client is changed to four and if we check the virtual command you see tcp new should be assigned to the web virtual server as we expect